Pencil marks are not used here. Learn how to solve Sudoku puzzles without writing candidates on this channel. This puzzle is from Charles Timmerman's book, 1000 Plus Sudoku Puzzles, from Funster.com. You can also find this on Amazon. This is puzzle number 188. Uh, it's rated hard from this book. I'm going to talk about how X-wings, double column illumination, and unique rectangles are related. I'll compare and contrast them. Before I get started, I want to mention you can print this puzzle by clicking on the link in the description below, or you can, you can also go to sudokuprimer.com to this menu item and find this puzzle and other puzzles that you can print. Uh, you can try and solve them, and if you can't solve them, or if you want to watch a video on how to solve them, you can click on a link on that page to go to, the, to a video of that puzzle. Well, let's get solving. First of all, I wanted to point out we've got a 4 here and a 6 here, and a 4 and a 6 here. And they're related because this 4 and 6 eliminates a 4 and 6 in this, any other 4 and 6 in this column. And we've got a 4 and a 6 opposite of this wall right here. So that makes 4, 4, 4, and 6, um, 6, 6. So these are 4, 6 twins right here. So a set of twins right off. And we've got a 6 here, a 6 here, and a 6 here, so that makes that a 6. We've also got 6 here, and 6 here, and now 6 here, so that makes that a 6. Right there. And let me, um, at this point, show you a set of, um, or the double column elimination technique and then I'll show you how X-wings and um, unique rectangles are, are related to those same eights. We've got an eight here and an eight here so one of these is an eight. We've got an eight here and an eight here so one of these is an eight. So the eight in box five has to be in column five using double column elimination. Now these eights um, here and here also happen to be X-wings. If you've got an eight here, if you know this is an eight, this has to be an eight. And if you know this is an eight, this has to be an eight. And because of that, we know the eight in box five has to go in one of these two cells. Now the difference between double column elimination and X-wings is you'll see double column elimination or double row elimination more often than you'll see X-wings. And I'll give you an example of that in a minute. But that's how double column elimination and X-wings are related. Okay, You see those right there. Now let's... Um, now let's... Um, we'll notice that these eights are also part of uh, unique rectangles. We've got ones right here, so these are actually one eight twins. So with these one eight twins and these eights here, unique rectangles tells us that neither of these can be a one. We have one eight twins here and an eight here or here in this box. So neither of those can be a 1 because of unique rectangles. That means the 1 has to be in one of these four cells in box 2. So here, so in this same place, we see double column elimination, X-wings, and unique rectangles. All right, let's move on. We've got a 4 here and a 4 here, so one of these is a 4. 
with these ghost fours and these this four here, we know that's a four. We've got a two here and a two here, so that makes that a two. And now we've got a three here and a three here, so that makes that a three. Okay, now I'm going to show you a set um, a double row elimination with the number five. We've got a five here, so the five in box two has to go in one of these three cells. We've got a five here and a five here, so the box five in box three has to go here or here. Now using um, double row elimination, the fives here and the fives here tell us that the five in box one goes right there. Because with these fives and these fives, row one and row three are covered for fives in box one. So the five has to go right there in box one. Okay, this is an example of double row elimination where we do not have X wings because we've got a five here and the five can be in one of these three cells here and in one of these two cells in box three. So this is not an X wing, but it is double row elimination. And then we've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so that makes that a 5. And we've got a 5, 5, a 5, 5, so that makes that a 5 right there. And then we've got a 6 in box 7 right there. We've got a 6 there, 6 there, so that's a 6. Um, got a six here, a six here, and a six here, so that makes that a six. And now with that six there, we've got six, 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 makes that a six. And remember our four six twins here? We can put a four there now. Okay, with these fours and this four, we've got a four in box nine and a four in box seven. Now we've got a 9 here, 9 here, 9 here, so that makes that a 9. And we know that these are 1, 7 twins. We know these are 4, 8 twins. So that leaves 5 and 9 here. With that 5 right there, we know that is a 9 and that's a 5. And now I've got a 9 here, oh, 9 here, 9 here, 9 there, so that makes that a 9. And 9, 9, 9 makes that a 9. Now we're missing 2, 3, and 7 in this box right here got a 3 here and a 2 here, so that makes that a 7. And we have two 7s, the only two numbers missing in box 7 here. With that 7, we can finish this box. And with this 7, we can fill in the 1 and 7 in box 1. We've got a 7 there, 7 there, 7 there, so that's a 7. And we've got 2, 2, 2, so that's a 2. 
Okay, and 777. Um, 777. 777. And 7777 makes that a 7. We're only missing 1 and 3 in box 3 now. With that 3, we can put a 3 there and a 1 there. Now we're missing 1, 3, 8. 1, 3, and 8 here. We can see that is a 3, because 1 and 8 there makes that a 3. And this one makes that a one and that an eight. We can fill in, finish row five with an eight there. And now we've got, let's see, we're missing, in this row we're missing two, three, four. And two, three, and four. There's a three and a four there, so that's a two. And two there, two there, and two there, so that makes that a two. We're only missing 3 and 9 here now. There's a 3, so we can put a 9 there and a 3 there. That makes that a 2, because we had 2, 3 missing there and 2, 3 missing here, which we can now complete. Now we're missing 3, 5 right here. 3 there. Remember our 1 8 we still can't solve them. Remember our 4 8 we still can't solve them. But we are, let's see what we're missing here. 3, 4. 3 and 4 there. With that 3, we can fill in the 3 and the 4. And now with that 4, we can put a 4 there, 8, and a 1, and an 8 there. Uh, these are 1, 8. The only two numbers left in box 5. With that 8 there, we can put a 1 there and an 8 there. And we've, we're missing 1, 5, 9. 1, 5, 9 there. 1, 5, 9. Five, that's a one, and that's a five. And we got it. Well, I hope that helps you understand the difference be between X-wings, double column elimination, and URs, and how they're related. I know over the, over the years I've had people talk to me about double row and double column elimination and say, yeah, isn't that X-wings? Yes, in some cases it is, and in some cases it isn't. And I hope I explained the difference between the two. Well, happy solving and happy holidays.